हेलो गाइस वेलकम टू करियर कंपास दिस दीपन घाटलिया योर ट्यूटर फॉर ए सी सी ए यू के टेक्स एन एस बी एल पेपर नाउ लेट स्टार्ट विद द न्यू चैप्टर विच इज द चैप्टर नंबर सिक्सटीन कॉरपोरेशन टैक्स लॉसेस इन दिस सेशन वी विल गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट ऑल द काइंड ऑफ द लॉसेज दैट कंपनीज कैन हैव लाइक ट्रेडिंग लॉस प्रॉपर्टी लॉस कैपिटल लॉस एंड मैनेजमेंट एक्सपेंडिचर्स एंड दिस काइंड ऑफ द लॉसेज बट स्टूडेंट्स वॉट विल हैपन इज दैट दैट ऑल दीज लॉसेज विल हैव ऑलमोस्ट द सेम काइंड ऑफ द लॉस रिलीफ ऑप्शन लाइक करंट ईयर ऑप्शन कैरी बैक ऑप्शन समटाइम्स कैरी बैक ऑप्शन यस कैरी फॉरवर्ड ऑप्शन विल बी देयर सो दीज काइंड ऑफ द कॉमन ऑप्शन यू विल सी इन दिस चैप्टर विथ ऑल द काइंड ऑफ द लॉसेज बट स्टूडेंट्स इट्स नॉट दैट मच ईजी फॉर द एग्जामिनेशन पर्पज यू हैव टू रिमेंबर ऑल दीज लॉसेज आस्पेक्ट्स एंड ऑल दीज डिटेलिंग दैट वी विल गोइंग टू डू वाई इट इज इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर एग्जामिनेशन स्टूडेंट्स समटाइम्स इन द एग्जामिनेशन मे बी पॉसिबल दैट यू मे बी गिवन चॉइस इज दैट नाव यू डिसाइड विच ऑप्शन यू शूड चूज वेदर यू चूज द करंट ईयर ऑप्शन कैरी बैक ऑप्शन कैरी फॉरवर्ड ऑप्शन और समटाइम्स द ग्रुप रिलीफ ऑप्शन सो यू विल हैव मल्टीपल ऑप्शन यू कैन ओनली एंड ओनली choose any of the option if you are having the perfect knowledge uh, of these relief so that's why this chapter is very important if you want to have a command over this whole losses chapter in the group relief chapter okay now students let's first of all start with the trading losses you can see on the screen that trading losses first of all will have the three options the current year and carry back option then the second option is the carry forward option and the third is the terminal loss but let me tell you that student terminal loss is only and only possible if it's your cessation year so for the normal year students there are basically only and only two options current year and carry back and the carry forward option but if you see both of these options students these both the options we have already seen in the income tax chapter okay so we almost know that what will happen in these options but let me tell you that what will happen in this current year and carry back option if you choose current year and carry back option students one thing you should notice is that students it is almost similar like income tax current year carry back option uh, in the income tax students we were having the option of uh, loss relief against total income in the total income we used to set off our all the trading losses against the total income of current year and or or previous year okay so those kind of the concepts we have learned in the income tax students if you have forgot go to our video or go to your notes or book you will find these details in the trading loss chapter of income tax now let's come to here students what happens here is, is that students the option that they are giving you current and carry back that means first of all you have to choose the current year option and then and then only you can choose the option of the carry back now one year carry back is that students not more than that please remember so current year and carry back now let's suppose you have chosen the current year option but now you don't want to carry back your losses into previous year so it's okay students the carry back option is optional it's not compulsory it's not like that you have chosen current year so you compulsorily have to carry back your losses so then after students once you are done with that or if you don't want to opt for any of these option current year nor carry back then the last option in the regular years is the only left which is the carry forward option carry forward is simple students carry forward you can do your trading losses can be carried forward and in future uh, you can set off it against the total profit total income okay now the important points point is coming up now students that what, whatever option students you are choosing over here the partial claims is a most important thing for the examination so the important thing is that students current year and carry back option do not have any partial claims uh, facility you cannot uh, claim your losses partially the maximum possible amount should be claimed but if you choose the option of the carry forward over there students the partial claims are allowed so whenever students these partial claims are not allowed just like over here in the current year and carry back option there will be the chances that your qcd can be wasted if you choose the trading loss uh, relief of a current year and carry back there may be the chances that you can get this see if you choose trading losses you obviously going to get your relief from the trading losses but the qcd can be wasted if you are choosing current year and carry back option because over there the partial claims are not allowed so i think that here uh, students you are you are getting all the kinds of the idea only and only only these things are only important for the examination and should be mugged up properly 
and then after students terminal loss is just like same as your income tax terminal loss relief over there also students three year carry back was there on the lifo basis here also student the terminal loss is same carry back three 36 months against total income uh, on a lifo basis and students when we talk about terminal loss over here partial claims are not allowed so here we are done with students trading losses then after students let's come to the next uh, which is the capital loss students capital loss first of all do not have any kind of the carry back relief, uh, relief only and only two options are there current year and carry forward okay now students i want you to assume that each and every losses that we are talking over here each and every losses will have the group relief option by default so i am not right now going to discuss about anything uh, related to the group relief or i am not going to mention that trading loss will have another option which is the group relief or capital loss will have another option which is called group relief see group relief is by default with each and every losses okay so that you have to assume on your own right so let's come to the point students yes capital losses we were talking about uh, i was saying that capital losses do have basically two two options current year option or the carry forward carry back cannot be done in the capital losses if you are setting off your capital losses in the current year then you can set off your losses against chargeable gains only and students partial claims are not allowed in the current year and if you carry it forward students once again your capital losses can only and only be set off against the chargeable gains and once again partial claims are not allowed okay then after students the next loss is the property business loss your property business losses students as we have seen in the previous chapter also can be set off against total profit also so with the case of the property losses there are no restriction like that that property losses should only and only be set off against the property income no in the corporation tax it's not like that your property loss can be set off against all the other kinds of the profits also and when you are choosing the current year option students partial claims are not allowed same details will come up like if you choose the carry forward option you can set off your property losses against all the kinds of the total profit but if you carry it forward students partial claims are allowed then after students you can see on the screen that no net trade uh, loan relationship deficit is also given there are students uh, three options you can see current year carry back and carry forward now all these three options students we have already discussed in the previous chapter when we were discussing the four options of the loan uh, loan relation deficit and over there the fourth option was group relief nothing else okay so over there students i mentioned that the first option was current year second was carry back and the third was the uh, carry forward and the fourth is the group relief okay so you can see over here in the screen stone the same kind of the details is written over here as we have mentioned in the previous uh, chapter also then after the last is the management expenditure management expenditure can be set off against the current year option and it can be set off against the total profit and if you choose the current year option students partial claims are not allowed and the, you can carry it forward also you can set off against total profit once again but as you are carrying it forward students carry forward usually have the partial claims uh, allowed most of the time so over here also with the management expenditure carry forward option do have the partial claims facility so i hope you are getting this point students don't underestimate this chapter mug up the whole chapters properly because this will create a base for your next chapter as well as this chapter will help you solve the case studies of the group relief also okay so here we are done with this chapter students but for any for any query or to understand this whole chapter in a more detailed manner feel free to ask me i will share one video uh, you will get the more detailed idea okay thank you guys see you